So I was taking a look at Jamie Marsden's video earlier today, does WordPress need a radical rethink in 2025? He basically goes through some issues with the site editing experience where it's just really hard for people to get into full site editing, has kind of a steep learning curve, and to do simple things like change the layouts of your sites. And he presents this kind of uh, alternative user experience solution that he thinks is maybe a little bit better. I kind of agree, I mean, I definitely agree with his premise that it is very confusing. It's still really hard to navigate through the site editor. Um, just finding what you're looking for is difficult. Um, I don't really agree that the customizer, as much as I loved it and was a big fan of it, uh, is really the way to go. Um, but I think I can understand what he's saying, which is that it should be a lot easier to pick templates. And what I thought was really interesting is that this feature actually does exist in full site editing. And uh, Jamie, who knows a lot about WordPress, had no idea. I had no idea. I learned it offhand uh, in the past too. But let's pull up WordPress Playground. This is default WordPress, nothing fancy, just a default theme. Let's pop open that site editor. So this was his issue is that he wanted his blog post to have a sidebar. Sidebars in full site editing and block editor are extremely difficult because they're, you know, the block editor really loves like put everything in the center and go full width and stuff. And sidebars are just like kind of tricky, but they actually do come as a template by default. So I open the site editor, I'm looking at my template. He kind of mucks around with uh, this idea here of where do I look for things. I think that's a fair criticism. I, for example, did like a command K because I like to use that. And I was thinking, oh, I want to do my page templates. And when I search for pages, I get just get all these different options. And I don't actually know what the different is. When I do pages, I get these two different things. And I can never remember what is going to go to what. Um, definitely areas of improvement here. But let's go to let's go to the single post template. So what I'll do is I'll actually just navigate so you can see how you go. Templates. Then I got to look down here. There's, you know, I can see this being very confusing. There's a million different page, different options here. But let's just go to single posts. When you land on this screen for the first time, like this, there is actually a little accordion drawer over here with alternative template options. So just like he's recommending, there's a bunch of like preset designs that you can pop in and out or you can kind of customize yourself. So this actually exists because you can see here, there's a bunch of different ones. Um, it's really hard to see them and read them. Uh, it's really just doesn't look, none of them look that great, <laughs> even though they will when you use them in this little sidebar. Um, but you can see there's like different designs here and there's one in 2025 called news blog, single post with sidebar. So I click it. It swaps everything out, changes my header. I'm not really sure that's not something that I wanted to happen. But if I go down, I can see now I have a sidebar design. My blog post content is here. I didn't have to mess around with any blocks. So it's definitely an example of the feature is here. It exists. It's being leveraged. Um, but it has a lot of side effects, like changing my header, which I would not have asked it to do. Um, I don't know now if this is going to affect my entire site, if everything else is going to have this header. Uh, let's go and see, or if uh, just, nope, I lost it. Let's save the changes first. So now my single post will have a different header. So, you know, not the best experience, not the most intuitive. Um, a little hard to see, especially with this theme being so monochromatic. Um, a little hard to see what's going on here. Oh, interesting. But you can see that the feature sort of does exist. So it's like, I don't disagree with anything that Jamie wrote. I just would say, I think I agree. I think we can make it happen. It's just going to take a little bit more work to get these features that sometimes are there, sometimes are almost there, sometimes, you know, just get them pushed over the finish line. And uh, I think we'll have a much better user experience.